Hey there, this is Scott with Showing Austin. I'm going to show you how you can do image to video inside of CapCut. If you haven't tried it yet, it's a hidden feature. Now, I will go through the two different ways you can currently see it, at least on my version in the U.S. I've taken a series of photos. There's 20 photos here from a recent real estate photo shoot that I've done. If you first noticed in placing these photos, they don't really fit the screen here at 100%. What I found is 1.8 is pretty much the exact upscale that fits the screen for even measure. And to double check, I've just gone to 120. Now, what I'm going to do here is to go and select all of them, making sure they're first all at 120. That's the first thing I do with these pictures so they're full screen. And then with image to video, there's two ways of doing it. The first way is to go into AI media, when you can either choose AI image or AI video we want to choose ai video and we want to choose image the video not text the video in this case so you can either import an image here which will be the first way to doing it and then and find it in your in your computer etc or multiple images i haven't tried the multiple images yet because it talks about first frame last frame i want to keep it simple for this video and do one image at a time now once you import an image here you would select the video model. C-Dance is really about text prompts. The video 4.0 is really the camera motion and lifelike scenes powered by Runway. Runway is supposed to be one of the best, if not the best right now, in making images of video. You only get a choice of normal speed and you only get one default camera control. Perhaps that's gonna change later. You get five or 10 seconds. Five is plenty for me for real estate video. I usually trim it down to three seconds. They also want to point out that you get 25 credits reduced with my pro account. I forget how many credits I got in the U.S., but I've got 1,200 left. So that's the one way to do it. The way that I actually prefer to do it, however, is to go to the image itself. Let's start here. This is fine. And you right-click. You can then go image to video because you've already got your pictures in your timeline. So that's a, a better way to do it, in my opinion, an easier way to do it. I've got my video chosen, normal default, five seconds. By the way, the aspect ratio, I'm going to go to 16.9. Maybe the, the output's going to do that, not so much the input. So remember, you want to choose 16 by 9. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and generate. Once you hit generate, if you go over to the right side and click on AI Media, you're going to see it populate here. And you're also going to see it up top here on top of the image. And it shows you the percentage if you click on it there. And it shows you up in this right-hand corner the percentage of that. When I first tried this, it worked okay. A couple days later, I tried it <coughs> preparing for this video. And believe it or not, it didn't work at all. Now it seems to be working again. I first thought maybe it's a file size problem. It may be. I haven't figured it out yet. You probably don't want too large of an image in here. I will tell you while this is generating, I'm going to go in and see the size of these files and, and, and tell you here. All the files I'm using, or most of them except for two, are below 10 megabytes in size. Numbers 15 and 20, we'll point out, are well above 10. We'll see if those work. When you see the five seconds here, that means it's finished and I downloaded it. I've downloaded that image and I'm going to go ahead and show you the quality. This is a little large on my screen. The problem is it's not moving. So that's the first problem. It should at least do a zoom in, zoom out, zoom out. It also has an AI generate up here, which I don't like for losing credits. It should give you the option of, of taking that off. It's almost like a watermark for CapCut. But again, even if I've reduced this in size, it's actually not moving at all. So it didn't really generate. So now we're going to go back into CapCut and try another image. Let's go to the one of the two that I said were more than 10 megabytes. Let's see if it can handle that. So we've got the area image the video popping up here. Remember, we want to go to video 4.0. You want to change this to 16.9. Normal default, five seconds instead of 10. Otherwise, it'll give you more credits. It'll take more credits. We see it. It's 50 credits for 10 seconds. I only need five seconds for 25. Let's generate this and see if it works with the larger image. You can see the 19% right here. Remember, you can also see it up top. It worked. It took that almost 18 megabyte file and gave me an image and let's see what it does for us. It is not moving again. I mean, it's like a very minor shift, so it's hit or miss here. What we do see animated here, if you notice very closely, water coming out of the faucet is what it's done with a very minimal zoom into the right. I'm going to kind of scrub through it and show you. It's very minimal. All right, we're going to try this with a different image. Let's choose something that has a lot of depth and see if that makes a difference. How about Let's use this bedroom image. Let's go into image of the video. Remember this, I think, is the easiest way to do it. You want to make sure you got video G4. You want to make sure you got 60.9 for YouTube. We're going to hit generate. All right, there you have it. There's the image. 
So you can't even double click it in CapCut. You can't play it in CapCut. If you hit play, it's going to show you the timeline. That's just pictures right now. So we're going to go ahead and download it. Here's the third image we tried. Remember the first one didn't work at all. The second one had a little bit of movement. Here we chose a bedroom, a little more depth, and it has a little bit more movement. So you can kind of tell that with a depth, it looks a little better. It's pretty limiting. It has its own default zoom in, and they're probably all going to zoom in. But it's pretty neat, and that's how you do it in CapCut. Thanks for watching.